everybody, I'm Isaiah and welcome back to my topic channel. And I have an interesting video for you guys today. I actually have another review for you guys coming out. Topic reviews and other Isaiah Rivers topics reviews. About something I found that was really, really strange. The Game Box. Basically, a $25 Game Boy. This is interesting. So, it comes in this little box. It's called the Game Box Plus. It's a sus support external game pad, double against... You know, it basically a Game Boy and it has 600 games built in. So I'm pretty sure this would be a Famiclone console. But let's unbox it and see what it looks like. And I'm actually going to give you guys a better view of it. Okay, so here it is and let's unbox it. So it comes in a small box, you know, has, you know, information about it. It's a digital game system, has... LCD and it says it can play on the TV and has a backlight has an AC adapter that comes with it so let's open it up and there it is just like that so okay so it literally looks like a knockoff Game Boy like even down to the speaker uh, the only difference that we now have ABXY uh, reset button what it looks like and no cartridge slot. And I actually have, um, let's do a comparison. I actually have a Game Boy Color uh, since I knew that they were both red. And it looks like this is a more darker shade when this is like a reddish kind of pinkish because it was called Berry. So it had like more depth in the color with it that where this one is kind of just like straight up red um, right in your face. Um, either way, looks pretty, um, nice, but it kind of feels a little cheap. <laughs> well, not cheap, but, like, you can tell that this is literally just all plastic. And then it looks like right here, uh, that's where the battery goes, which is kind of cool. And it, the thing is, it also has a AV out port to plug it into the TV, which I will show you guys, uh, soon. Your AC ad your AC input and the power switch. But also in the box it comes with oops, sorry, instructions, uh, the USB cable, and the micro and the AV cables. But let's actually get this turned on and see what it's about. Okay, so it has the backlit screen and you get the option of either Chinese or English. So, let's see what games we have in here. And press start. And from what I see, I was right. It is a Famiclone. So it has 401 games. And it's a Famiclone, so you're, and obviously there's maybe like only 100 games, but there are games in here like Mario 14, you know, oh, Contra 7, which isn't even a real game. Um, so yeah, this is a cool little, this is a little family clone. And I'm going to show you guys, let's actually just boot up Super Mario Brothers and see how it runs. And that's a very bright screen. Will it focus? A little bit, there we go. Sorry, this isn't going to be the best kind of way because the screen is very bright and there's no way I can turn it down. But since it is a family clone... I'm just gonna try the controls down here. And so you can hear it that it is sped up. But actually for the actual gameplay, I'm actually gonna plug this into the TV 38 V port and give you guys a look through that. So let's go and do that now. Okay, so now we are gonna uh plug it into the now we already plugged it into the AV, so now we're gonna see what it looks like. Okay, so Again, we got Chinese and English. Select and basically just the Famiclone. So let's actually load up the first game being Super Mario Brothers. And okay, it looks about the same. Let's see how it plays. So it's a much sped up version. And also, 
one thing about it is that the controls are a little delayed or you have to really push. So for example, the controls are also altered for a more um, realistic feel. So Y would be, you know, to run the hold and then B is actually jump instead of A. And you can also hear that it's much sped up and it also is a little faster gameplay wise. So it's taking me a minute to get used to it. But for the most part, from what I can tell, it's all it is is um, the same thing as Mario Brothers. But let's actually try one of these weird games in. Let's try Mario 14, it looks like, which I've... Yeah, it's definitely a Mario of some sort. <laughs> So in this game, you're playing as Mario, going around and shooting people. Very, very interesting. So I'm guessing this is like a Mario Ninja Gaiden clone from what it looks like. Really, really, really weird. So let's actually, let's try another known game. Let's actually try, let's try uh, Turtles. Let's try the Ninja Turtles. I'm guessing that translates to Ninja Turtles in, Japan, in Chinese. Okay, so another weird thing about the controls is I can actually show you guys. So when you plug it in, the screen's off, but if I'm pressing down, it doesn't operate correctly. So I'm guessing that's just due to how it was built. Yeah, and this game does not want to... You need to, like, really press to go down. As you can see, I'm having trouble, like, I'm pressing... Here, I'll show you, like, I'm actually pressing down on it. So, another flaw, but it's not one where it's going to be an extreme problem. But from what I can tell, this is the original Ninja Turtles game. And then maybe for fun, we'll try one more. We'll go through all 400 games. So they have a Pac-Man clone, which I actually, I'm scared to play, but looks like Pac-Man. So we'll play this and then we'll see how it runs. So this is NES Pac-Man, it looks like. And the controls are screwed on this one too. Cause you have to be very, very precise. Like, I can't even go up. And I'm done. But anyway, yeah, that's a couple of the games that were on here. Well, there you guys go. There is my review on the game box. It's okay. I mean, it's mostly probably made for uh, someone that likes retro gaming and just to get a couple of games in. And for 25 bucks, it's not bad. So if you like weird and obscure things in your collection, guess I could recommend it. But if you really don't really care about any NES games or Famicom games, 
you're really probably not going to want this. But anyway, there is my review and opinion on the game box. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, because in my opinion, you always need topics in your life. And that's it. Until I see you guys again, peace to the O, to the U, to the T. Peace out, guys.